What's going on, guys? This is Maury, Pat, and Dave from the Erie Better Beer Bureau back at you with another beer review. Today, we got a Three Floyds Brew, uh, Arctic Panzer Wolf. It's their Imperial IPA. Uh, Maury, what else you got on this one? Well, they have a few Imperial IPAs. They have Dreadnought, they have the Apocalypse Cow, they have this one. They do a ton of hoppy beers, and uh, this one, you know, is the most recent release that's available around here, so... We're going to let you know what we think about it. Well, it smells sweet. Yeah. And yeah. fruity. <laughs> Pretty citrusy. Yeah, I'm getting even some pine. I'm getting a nice blend, actually. I'm yeah. getting a more citrus and pine. I'm getting, I'm getting, like, pineapple juice on this one. Like, you know, uh, a little bit of pine. I can see that. And it's bitter. It smells bitter. Yeah, it's yeah. You get a real bitter smell. I think there's a nice, even on the smell though, I'm getting a nice, hot, like a malty sweetness. Yeah, there's a bit of a malt backbone on the nose. Like there's a kind of, you know, caramely malt smell mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, there's a little more bite to this beer than the nose would let you. Would yeah, yeah. yeah that's, there's a nice, like, juicy flavor, like, with a nice bitterness to back right. it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a, a, I think it's a pretty darn bitter beer. It's cloudy too. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was some sediment in the bottom of the bottle, and I poured some of it into our glasses because I figured let's let's, let's get closer to the beer. Yeah, the more I'm drinking of this beer, the bitterer it's getting. Yeah. It has I'm that nice lingering bitterness. Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely, I get like a tropical fruit. Again, I'm getting pineapple yeah. juice off of it up front. There's a nice sweetness in the middle. And then you get the nice lingering bitterness yeah. from this and one. And it's lingering around too. Yeah. yeah. I feel that, I don't get that huge fruity hot punch up front like some doubles give you. But it's a real nice steady you know, some of them I feel just hit you all at once and then are gone. This one kind of like eases you into the hops. And there's there's a real stickiness to it that you usually get yeah. in the in the piney or the Those East or the coasters, little juicier yeah. IPAs, but it's really it's really pretty bitter. Yeah. Like even like even after you drink it, there's stickiness in your mouth after the drink is finished. Yeah, it kind of leaves a film on the yeah. palate. Yeah. I, I kind of like it though. But I do too. Like, you know, I know that six point resin is more of that East Coast real piney, real piney IPA. Mm -hmm. The mouthfeel on this slightly reminds me of that here. Yeah, I'm not getting the amount of pineyness. No, though, no, but beer. the mouthfeel. I yeah, feel yeah, it has a sticky it, yeah. character to right. it. All right, for a score for the Arctic Panzer Wolf, I'm gonna go. 4.5 and the reason why is to me you get a little bit of that tropical fruit flavor you get a little bit of that sweetness and then what I really love and I miss in some of the IPAs these days is the lingering bitterness there is some of that present on this beer and I really like that I think some of the IPAs you know they finish almost a little too clean for me this one the bitterness uh, sticks around on the palate and lets you know what you're drinking here. I'm going to go four and a half. All right, I'm going to give this one a four and a quarter out of five. Uh, I agree with a lot of what Jay says. Um, I wish there was a little more balance from the sweetness. I do like the lingering bitterness at the end of it. Again, that's something you, you're not even seeing out of a lot of IPAs this day. It seems like people are getting away from it. But uh, it, I could go with a little more balance of sweetness from the malts on this beer. Yeah. I'm going to go a touch below you guys. I'm going 375 on this. The lingering bitterness is really the only characteristic I really like out of this beer. I think the hop profile definitely needs some work. I also agree with you a little bit, Pat, where I think I could use a little more balance from the malts. I really like how the hops hang around. The lingering bitterness is, um, is really what's putting it up you know, above average for me. But it's just not up there into the really good category for me. I'm going 375. All right. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers.